What's up? This is Michael Kenneth Williams, and you're watching BallerStatus.com. We're here at the Cecil in Harlem, season finale of Boardwalk Empire, Boardwalk Backroom. Hi, I'm Denise Spitto. I'm here at the Boardwalk Empire Red Carpet, and you're watching Baller Status. What made you be a fan of the show? Why are you so Oh, well, you know what, though? It's something so glamorous and beautiful about this era, and these women, and these men, and these scandalous situations they happen to get themselves in all the time. It just, why not? If you could be a character on the show, what would you put? Oh, man. I was kind of hoping they'd bring me on the show at some point, and now it's over. I'd be like the Kirby, like, you know, side piece for Nikki. I don't know. Who knows? I'd be in there. I'd love to get his knowledge. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? This is D-Nice, and you're watching BallerStats.com. I'm here in my neighborhood that I grew up in, Harlem, for the Boardwalk Empire, you know, uh, series finale party. This is actually, uh, feels good, man. It's kind of like a homecoming to be able to do my thing two doors down from where I grew up, so I'm happy to be here. So this is Valerie Curry. Hi, I'm Valerie Curry. And I'm Sam Underwood. You are. And you're watching Ball of Status. Sounds it funny sounds funny when, when say I say it. it. <laughs> well, I think what is unique about Boardwalk Empire is it's a drama that's set in a very specific era of time. So the cult following, I think, has to do with that as well. I would have loved to have had the challenge of playing a good gangster on Boardwalk Empire. I would have given it my best shot. I hope they would have snapped me up as the uh, the young British guy who can't quite make it into the bad in, into the uh, it's okay I would have the been bed. the one who looks really sweet and then just you know deceptively stealing and stabbing behind they, everyone's ass I'd be, I'd be the kingpin I would have put my tap <laughs> shoes on I would have broke out in a tap dance so. hey guys I'm Margot Bingham aka daughter Maitland from Boardwalk Empire on HBO and you are watching Baller Status I'm trying to be a baller how do you think your character has contributed to the discussion of on love and monogamy being that you play a woman who fell in love with a married man whose relationships audiences root for? Like right. I, well, I think it's hard because obviously we kind of fell in love um, in all the wrong places, um, but it's it's kind of hard not to love the two of these two characters between Daughter and Chalky. You really see that these are two people that are just totally lost souls and somehow, even though they're not meant to be, they they just they were meant to meet and audiences do root for your own I know I hate that you love it you kind of hate that you love it right it's wrong but is it so now that Borg Empire is coming to an end I heard you say something about music tell me a little bit more about the other projects you're doing outside of well I'm also known as Margot B um, a little different from the Margot Bingham world uh, so I have my own funk and soul band and we perform a lot around New York and Chicago and all over the place and um, I've been trying to work on some new music. It's been about three years since I put out my last album, so it's um, it's it's definitely a long time in the making. So I'm really pumped to get back in the studio and record and release some new stuff. Sometimes um, I really love Van Alden's wife. I love Christiane. She is the sweetest thing, and maybe that's why it has a lot to do with it. But that accent that she puts on is so incredible because in real life she's she's just completely American but it's so much fun and she has such a good time and she's so hot and so powerful but then such a housewife and I think that it's really fun I did that or Al Capone who wouldn't want to be Al Capone gangster. yeah just gangster follow status how do you think audiences will react to the final season of Boardwalk Empire I think the viewing audience is gonna love this final season um, it's, it's packed full of surprises and a lot of murders, a lot of deaths, and um, a lot of sadness. It's a very dark season. Lessons have you learned about yourself from playing Chalky White that you will bring with you in other roles? Uh, I learned through Chalky that I actually happen to love clothes. Uh, I love suits. I love looking and feeling like a grown man. Uh, you know, I have an appreciation for bow ties now. You know, also have an appreciation for family, you know, and, and 
what it means to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Because he, he was a man who had nothing. And uh, he made a way for himself in a time where they wasn't really letting black men rise to his level. So um, I just learned about just being focused and, and not letting anybody stop me. What do you think it is about dark, complex characters like Chalky and Omar and Nawaya that attracts you to them? The thing that attracts me to um, characters like Chalky and Omar is basically um, their struggle, their pain. I, I identify with that. What's the one acting role you really want to take on that you think audiences aren't ready to see you in? I, I don't know what audience, audiences aren't ready to see me in, but I, I would love to uh, take a stab at a biopic. And it's a wrap, guys. We just finished the red carpet here at Famous Minton's in Harlem, USA. HBO's Boardwalk Backroom, Baller Status. Your correspondent for the day, Rob Lee. Dressed in my 1930s look, we're gonna go have a good time now.